Hello and welcome back to the Eagle Griffin Games vlog, and this week we'll focus on five racing games. Then we'll give you a sneak peek at the second chapter of the upcoming expansion to Vital Asserta's On Mars Alien Invasion. In the Eggs from the Vault segment, we'll give you a quick look at an animal-themed press-your-luck and set collection game where you'll be drawing animals from a bag. And then we'll finish it off with a game giveaway. But first, let's update you on a Kickstarter project. One of our recent Kickstarter campaigns is now in the hands of backers. We're excited to see players around the world enjoying Mercado de Lisboa by Vital Lacerda and Julian Pombo. This strategic game of market stands in a Portuguese marketplace is now available directly from our website as one of our new releases. This week's Focus on 5 category is Racing Games. Here are 5 racing games from the Eagle Griffin catalog. Our first racing game on this list is a classic dexterity game, Pitch Car. This features finger flicking fun for the whole family, where players will be racing around the track by flicking their race cars. With several different extensions available, you'll be able to create hundreds of creative and unique racetracks. Our second racing game is Pitch Car Mini, a scaled down version of Pitch Car that still offers all the same flicking racing action, but on a smaller scale. Great for smaller play areas or mixing into the full size Pitch Car using an adapter. The full Pitch Car line is available from our website. Our third game on this list is Chariot Race by designer Matt Leacock. In Chariot Race, players participate as charioteers in a great race in ancient Rome. Use the dice to complete two laps on the dusty arena circuit and be the first to steer your chariot over the finish line. The competition is fierce and all contestants will stop at nothing to win the day. Tactical movement and combat is used to great effect in Chariot Race, but be warned there are many ways to wreck, so only the most cunning and tenacious will see the finish line. Number four is Bridgetown Races. Each year, the International Bridge Racing Association selects a city for its many bridges to host its annual Bridgetown Race. This year, they've chosen Portland, Oregon, USA. Players using bicycles, taxis, buses, automobiles, the streetcar, motorcycles, and sometimes their own two feet will try to be the first to cross each bridge. Be the first to cross every bridge and you'll win the race. Each round, players arrange for transportation by placing coordinators on the transportation mode or special action of their choice. Next, the player chooses a transportation mode and moves their racer through the streets, trying to be the first to cross a bridge and pick up its flag. The flag is placed on the player's bridge completion card and the first person to collect all eight flags wins the race. Our fifth racing game is Wombat Rescue. The dastardly dingo has stormed your burrow and chased away four of your baby wombats. Wombat Rescue is a race to be the first player to find all four of your baby wombats and bring them home. Did you know that wombats poop cubes? It's true. Scientists theorize that due to extremely poor vision, but an excellent sense of smell, wombats use their poop cube as smell markers to help them navigate their environment. Because their poop is cube-shaped, it's less likely to roll away or be moved. You'll need to eat and digest food in order to produce poop cubes with which you will build smell areas so you can navigate your environment, find your baby wombats, and bring them home. On Mars Alien Invasion is an upcoming expansion to Vital Asserta's On Mars. This expansion will feature four story chapters, each chapter offering a different way to play On Mars. Chapter 2 is a cooperative scenario for two to four players that focuses on a virus outbreak in which the players will need to work together to overcome while still working towards their objectives building the colony on the surface of Mars. On Mars Alien Invasion will land on Kickstarter July 15th. Mm -hmm. 
Cheeky Monkey is a set collection game where you're trying to press your luck and gain the most tokens of different animals, having a different amount of animals of each type. There's only three elephants, but if you have the most, it's three points. Whereas the Cheeky Monkey, there's ten of those in the game, but if you have the most of those, it's a whopping ten points. You won't start with any animal tokens, but over the course of the game, players are gathering these, which essentially is going to help them score at the end of the game. On your turn, you'll be drawing animal tokens from the bag. And you'll be placing those tokens in front of you, but not in your stack. And if any other players have that animal on top of their stack, you get to take theirs too and place it in front of you. And now you got to decide whether to stop or press your luck. Maybe you decide to press your luck and you pull the walrus, taking these tokens from those players as well and placing them in front of you. And if you decide to stop, you'll stack those tokens on your scoring pile in any order you want. Not only are you trying to have the majority of these different animals for points, but each of the ones in your stack will be worth a point on their own. But if instead you decide to press your luck and you drew another animal, well, if it matched any of the ones in front of you, you'd lose all of these and they'd all go back in the bag. But you'd keep your score stack at least. And if you end up with a herd of the same animals in front of you, you could decide to stop. You get to keep all of those and they go below your stack so players aren't able to steal from those. If you pull the cheeky monkey from the bag, well, one of the things you could do is take a monkey from the top of someone else's stack, just like the other animals. But you still have to be careful, because if you pull another cheeky monkey, well, you'll bust and all these will go back in the bag and your turn will end. Or instead, you can use that cheeky monkey to swap the top of another player's stack. This would be a great move into stop, because there's only three elephants in the entire game, you're sure to have that majority. And after you've busted or stopped your turn and kept those animals, it goes to the next player's clockwise, and you'll keep doing this until all tokens have been added to player's stacks. And again, whoever has the most of each of these will get that many points. If it's tied, no one will get these extra points. And you'll also get one point for every animal in your stack, and whoever has the most points is the winner. You can play with younger players the same rules except not using any of these bonus tiles. And with smaller children, you can remove all of the dog and even the pig tokens, and you can play without the special swapping rule of the Cheeky Monkey. This makes the game shorter and simpler. Cheeky Monkey is for 2 to 6 players, for ages 6 and up, takes 15 minutes to play, and it's available now. Click the link below to be brought right to the product page. Today, we're giving away a mystery game. To enter, all you have to do is be a subscriber of our channel, and then make a comment. Now, if you aren't yet a subscriber, you can click the link to subscribe below. Now, once a subscriber, for your comment for today's giveaway, let us know which Eagle Griffin games these components come from. Now, you'll have from one week from when this video is launched to enter. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's Eagle Griffin Games vlog, and remember that you can click the playlist below to see all the past vlogs, and we'll see you next week.